all our secrets. You're just lying. You're just lying all of the time. Can you even control them? I think I can. I just don't normally have to. You have human friends. Out. I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna make you both proud of me. I'll take that. You need to wipe all the data. You should learn some trust, Mads. What is wrong with you? Maybe I'm just sick of people doing things behind my back. wasting my time here, but the office have asked me to read out a very important notice. Pupils are invited to put themselves forward as the year group representative on the school council. This is the most important leadership position in the year. Blah, blah, blah. Names to the office by Friday. Job done. Boom. Register. Sue? So, mm-hmm? I'd like to be the leader. Really? What are you doing? Actually, sir, I'd like to be the year's representative on the council. Really? Oh, well, that's very... We think it should be somebody with their finger on the pulse, sir. Someone like me. Too much girl power. I'd better go for it too, sir. Well, looks like we've got a fight on our hands, hmm? The thing is, we have an expression here. Don't run before you can walk. I was born to lead. Like all my family. But you're supposed to be fitting in, not sticking out. Now that I'm gonna stay here, I need to take my place. I just don't think you realise what you're actually getting yourself into. Oh. I've had some ideas for your campaign. You want to do something for us? You can delete them. All of them. I would if I thought it would make any difference. Come on, don't be like that. I can make it up to you. I can help you win. I don't need your kind of help. Suit yourself. I've got a really bad feeling about this election. As my campaign manager, I think you should show a little bit more enthusiasm. Manager? Me? No, no, no. William, if you're not with us, you're against us. Well, I'm not picking sides. I've already said that to Jan. Let's just get one thing straight. Jan is in my pack. I'm not in hers. She wants to be top dog and I'm not letting it happen. Come on. Jan, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but... I can win this election for you. That's just Do you know, she's gonna know that you... Forget it. Why me? Why not Maddie? I've crossed the floor. It means I'm on your side now. I... I believe in your message. I don't have a message. Oh, of course you do. You just don't know what it is yet. That's where I can help you. No one knows playground politics like I do. Tom, you need to win. You have to win. Whatever, whatever. Tom, that's team. Very subtle. I think I would 
no offense. So, you and Yana, what's that? What it looks like. I'm helping her win the election. Wouldn't it just be easier to make up with Maddie? I tried, but she won't listen. The thing is, Shan, you're recent. I saved her life. What if it fell into the wrong hands? That data could save all of you if it came to it. If you were found out some other way, I am protecting you. Yeah, well, Maddie doesn't see it like that. And imagine how Yana would look if she finds out you've been spying on move bloods. Well, Maddie hasn't told her. Of course not. Yana would probably eat you. Anyway, it's not spying, it's observing, and maybe Yana would understand that. Yeah, but I wouldn't recommend testing that theory. When campaigning, the rule of thumb is people have to hear your message three times. Face to face, word of mouth, written down. Which is why this is being made available to you. Fine. I'm trusting all of you. Don't abuse it. What's going on, Tom? What? I'm just helping Jimmy out with his manifesto. Not that. Has Maddie sent Shannon to spy on me? No. We're just falling out. About what? Girl stuff. It's beyond me. And from that, that's why I'm back in Jimmy. What about getting Stella McCartney to design the school uniforms? Like that's ever gonna happen? It's simple. We put the word out. Vote for Cara or else. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? I want to win this on merit. I want to show everyone there's more to me than just eyeliner and lip gloss. And what's wrong with eyeliner and lip gloss? Nothing, but it won't win an election. Why not? <laughs> That's how we're gonna win. Hmm? Someone burps, boys laugh, but girls don't. But we don't have to worry about the girls, because their votes split three ways. As long as we get every boy voting for me. Right. Yeah. So, wait, you want a policy that's sort of like a burp? Simple. <laughs> <laughs> I've analysed voters by age, social network sites and make of mobile. What's that got to do with anything? Nor the mobile, nor the voter. Graphs will make me leader. This one might. Floating voters. No one ever targets these guys because they don't fit into cliques or categories. You find out what they care about and you make that your policy. It'll win you the election. What do they care about? What do you care about? So, policy number one. I want to make a difference. How about reforming the tuck shop? Because everyone else will be thinking of stupid stuff like that. I want to do something with a meaning. Sounds like electoral suicide. Well, it shouldn't do. There is nothing more important to a school kid than tuck shop. I'm usually so apathetic about this sort of thing. These guys have smart, insightful ideas, and I am just thrilled I persuaded them to embrace them. Every day should be a non-uniform day. Looking your best is a fundamental human right. Just because you're at school doesn't mean you can't look gorgeous and smell gorgeous, which is why we're installing grooming stations in every toilet. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Every week we go out and represent the school. Isn't it time the school invested in us? Yeah! New kits, new goal nets and new training gear. Yeah! Food. At the end of the day, what's more important? Nothing. And what say do we get in it? Exactly. None. Something that important can't be picked and chosen at random, which is why I propose you should set the menu in the school canteen. Yeah! Every 
people should have the right to privacy on school property. No more taking pictures on mobiles. And no more social networking. Let's get to grip with this privacy problem. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Anyone else want to leave? It's very admirable, Maddie. Maybe a bit too cerebral. It's a matter of principle, sir. And what are you proposing? We ban all mobiles and computers in schools. That's not going to get you many votes. Take a leaf out of there, but. Huh? Tuck shot. Now that's what you call targeted campaigning. Maddie, this is a bad idea. If the high ground doesn't work, take the low ground. You're the one campaigning for more privacy. I need a win first. Look, you honestly only been here five minutes. We're just reminding everyone of the facts. We've got her rattled. As your new girl, Yana is not in any cliques. She does not belong to one club or another. She is for all of you. We can all unite behind Yana, the new broom. Broom? It's a metaphor. What? Sweeping out the old and welcoming the new. You want change? Unite behind Yana. It's conviction politics. It's muslinging. And that's censorship. This isn't a dictatorship, sir. I'm surprised at you, Maddie. Look, forget about personalities. Think about policies. That is what you've got to sell at the hustings. You have got to think clean. And you need to fight clean. Take the fiver. Vote for me. Yeah, whatever. I'll know if you haven't. Okay, I swear. Isn't this just a bit? I'm just helping those less fortunate than myself. Isn't that why we're in politics? You take the fiver, you swear to vote for me. I swear. Jimmy's very generous, isn't he? What? That? I found it on the floor? <sighs> Cash for votes. We're finished. Only if we let him get away with it. What's that? Camera. Inside now. Oh, just some experiment. But now. It's a trap. Say something. Something. You remember what to do. I'm, I'm not going to get in trouble, am I? Trouble? You're a hero. You're making the world a better place. Are you Jimmy? Who's asking? I'm a floating voter. Can you vote? And that is called bribery and corruption. I am shocked. It's entrapment. Vote rigging. Pure and simple. You are eliminated from the election. Well done, Yana. And you too, Shannon. It's very upstanding. Let their integrity be an example to you all. And I hope you remember that when you cast your votes. Integrity, you. You got a problem, you talk to me. Jimmy was bribing voters. And two wrongs don't make a right. Oh yeah, and what did I do wrong? Spying on people with hidden cameras? Again. Uh, Again. Uh, Maddie's just feeling the pressure. Don't take it personally, Yeah, Shan. sure she is. Again what? Nothing. It's not nothing. Uh, Maddie, don't. Yana needs to hear this. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't. Yeah, she does. Shannon's putting us all in danger, including you. Tell me. Nice. 
nice, Shannon. Clever, Shannon. Let's try liar, Shannon! What are you talking about? I know everything. The laptop, the camera, everything. Wait. You want to befriend Wolf Blitz to spy on us? No! You coming to watch? No way. I'm not watching those smug freaks get out there and win. It's just a stupid election, mate. Yeah. No one actually cares. Yana! Yana, I'd never do anything to hurt you. You're a liar and a traitor. Tom, make sure Jeffries doesn't come down for ten minutes. Well, what's going on? Just do it, all right? Yana, you nearly won this. Stay away from me. I don't want, I promise. I don't want your help. Stupid to ever trust you. Before I hand the floor to Maddie, I'd like to thank you all for turning up. But quite frankly, I'm very disappointed in the low turnout. Why are we here? Alibi. Heckle. Maddie. I'm sorry if my poster campaign offended anyone, but some candidates claim that they're doing things for you, but are they really just in it for themselves? Others can't even be bothered to show up. You're not a friend, you're a predator! I can't be locked in! It's all right. I can't. All right, just, just take it easy. I need to get out. All right, I'm getting help. I'm just trying to open your eyes to what's really going on here. <clears throat> Some people pretend like they're on your side. Others really are. So, uh, vote for who you trust. Mm, you rubbish. Get off the stage. Mm. Let me out! Hi, help's coming. The walls are closing in. The walls aren't moving. The walls. Shannon, are you in there? Get the door open. She's wolfing out. What's going on? They've been locked in. Yana's wolfing out. Kara! The fact is, when you look good, you feel confident. And when you feel confident, you study better. So glamour is actually very educational. This was your plan all along. No! I wasn't planning anything. To see me turn! Where have you hidden the camera? I swear! I haven't! What happened? They're locked in! By who? I think it was Jimmy. Get that key off him! Now! Shannon! Shannon! What do I do? Just keep calm! Hey, one minute, you're in each other's throats. The next, you're walking off stage. What is going on? Shannon and Yana are locked in too! Yana's panicking. She's. Claustrophobic! Okay, calm down. Ridian. Ridian. I'll get the caretaker. He's got a master key. We can't let him. He'll see Yana. What else can we do? If we leave her in there, she'll kill Shannon! Please, listen. I wouldn't betray my friends. Never. Yana, it's true. She's my friend. She's our friend. Laddie, help! Just open it. Girls, okay, so it's all right. We're going to have it sorted. Just sit tight, OK? Where's Tom? I'll get him. Oi! 
What's going on in there? I need big gold cutters. It all takes steps to be more glamorous. Maybe by adding a lip gloss to your Just give me the keys, Jimmy. You heard him. You got it wrong. Where's the key, Jimmy? Changing rooms. In my locker. said anything. I know you're scared, but please, please don't hurt her. Yes. She didn't put you in danger. She'd never put you in danger. She's loyal. And she's my friend. She's in my pack, just like you. And nobody hurts my pack, so please, just get control of it, like I know you can, and come back to us. Better. That was close. You're telling me. It's all right. I'm sorry I freaked out. When the wolf starts in your veins, nothing controls it. I'm really sorry. Well, no harm done, I suppose. It's a good job you lot aren't running the country. Yana asked me to withdraw her candidacy, and so did Maddie. And with Jimmy's early fall from grace, that leaves one candidate standing. Cara. I'd like to thank Katrina and Kate and everyone who... No, 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 no speeches, Cara. You haven't won an Oscar. I only asked you up here so I could give you this. The school council pack. Pack? Yeah. List all the responsibilities of the year group student representative. <laughs> <laughs> Should I keep you busy for a while? I do. You saved me and Shannon. So maybe I'm not meant to lead our class. But as long as I'm in the pack, what more do I need? 
Wow. Thanks. But, as pack leader, what are you gonna do about Shannon's laptop? Nothing. So you're just gonna leave? Shannon's part of our pack too, Yana. I was wrong not to trust her the last time. I'll not be making the same mistake twice. Shannon. We can't just do nothing. Here you are, lads. Hundred pounds. They've got tickets for the match. I've got any more. Where is it? Where is it? Give it back now. I didn't take it. You both went behind my back. Yeah. Horrible, isn't it? They agree with her. About your laptop. Said they wanted to do something. I don't know, maybe. What? We'll plug in my locker. You cannot let them know I'm onto them. Shannon! You just made things worse, you. You're the one that tipped me off. Wait. You're not! I told you this would happen. What are we gonna do? Someone could be going through everything right now.